and girls, it's Colin here. Today we're going to show you a video of motorbikes. Northern Ireland has got many famous motorcyclists over the years. Sadly some have crashed and because of the high speed of accidents. But yet famous all over the world for representing Northern Ireland as they've been racing their motorbikes. Don't have a song with a motorbike but we certainly have a bike. Here we go. Stop and let me tell you. And let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. So we're going to put our Christ handle on. Do you think I can ride a motorbike? Let's go and have a look. Here we go. Today we are in Ballymoney, County Antrim. And we've come to a garden. It's a special garden. It's a memorial garden for one of the greatest motorcyclists in the world that the world has ever produced. It's a local man from Ballymoney called Joey Dunlop. Joey Dunlop in his day was known as a king of the roads. He was a world champion many times, winning many, many major events racing his motorbike. Sadly, Joey Dunlop was killed at the age of 48 while he was racing his motorbike. The danger with motorbike racing is speed. And any time they enter a race, they know the dangers. But some of those motorcyclists are so addicted to the sport, they love the sport so much, they're willing to pay the price of death whenever it comes to racing. Because of the speed, some of the bikes now, they go over 200 miles an hour. Unbelievable speed. If they hit oil or wet or go around a bend, if they slide at all, then it can be fatal for them. I remember growing up as a boy, I lived inside the Ulster Grand Prix race course in Dundraud. It was a seven mile track, one of the fastest road races in the world. And we loved it so much because when we were kids, whenever the races were over, were over we used to take the tractor and trailer, go around the race course and lift the straw and we could keep it for the winter to bed our animals. But we used to love going around and watching the races just vroom, vroom, vroom. Flying past, and then you would also go into the pits at night time or during the races, and we would talk to the motorcyclists. I've seen Joey Dunlop many times, and of course, his brother Robert Dunlop. His brother Robert Dunlop, Dunlop with two sons, they were also motorcyclists, but sadly, Joey's brother Robert, at the same age, was also killed tragically in a motorbike race, as was one of his sons uh, through racing a motorbike. So the Dunlop, Dunlop family are one of the most famous motor uh, cycling families ever from Northern Ireland. World champions, ambassadors for Northern Ireland for racing in many parts of the world. Not only racing, but winning the races because of their speed. They were fearless whenever it came to racing motorbikes on the road. Apart from the Dunlop family, we've got Joey, Robert, Robert's two sons, Michael and William. There are many, many other motorcyclists in Northern Ireland, past, present, and no doubt in the future as well. Adrian Archibald, Ryan Faulkner, Tom Heron, John Laverty, Gigi Laverty, Michael Laverty, Darren Lindsay from Dundraud where I grew up, Philip McCallan, Jonathan Ray, present one of the champions in Northern Ireland right across the world as we speak, Andrew Reid, Brian Reid, Tommy Robb, Neil Robertson, so many names. I've only mentioned a few true champions from Northern Ireland who love racing their motorbikes. Of course, motorcycling is a very dangerous sport. Whenever you see a racer, they've got the gear on from the head to their toe. They're wearing their gloves to protect them against the wind, against the shake. 
always all the time moving their hands for gears for brakes they've, they've got their hamlet on to protect their head they've got the gear from their neck right down their trousers and their boots every part of their body is covered to protect them if they fall off on a bike going 100 150 200 miles an hour they need to protect their body as much as they possibly can so motorcycling is a very very dangerous sport my friend's got a motorbike so we're going to go and visit him and maybe jump on it maybe go for a spin so I need to, of course, put the gear on, maybe put my jumper on, put my gear on, and we'll have a go on his blue motorbike. Did you like that? Did you know that was me in the bike? Huh. Whew. Did you think I could ride a bike? Did you think I could fit inside this leather jacket? I'm really impressed. These are really tight. A helmet is... Oh, take this off. Wait a second. Oh, these are the gloves. Leather jacket's important. Whew. The helmet's very important. Whenever you put a helmet on, it's really, really tight around your head. The reason for that is to keep your head in place because if it's really loose like a hat it's to protect your neck so if you fell off if it's not tight then you could break your neck and cause serious damage so the helmet is very very important to protect your head whenever you're riding a bike not just a motorbike but a bicycle because you can easily fall off a bike and bang your head so the helmet is to protect your head whenever you're riding a bike gloves are important because especially a motorbike because you're going quite fast and the air can make your hands really really cold and you might not be able to function as quickly as you should so the hamlet or the gloves really made of leather not only do they keep them warm when you're riding the bike but if you fell off they will stop you scoring your hand on the road or the side of the road so the, hem the hands are important gloves to protect your hands the leather jacket's important because the leather jacket of course is it's leather it's padded so it protects your elbows, your shoulders, or your back. Because if you fall off a, a, bi a bike and maybe go on 40, 50, some go much, much faster than that. Especially road racers. Some that go over 200 miles an hour. Some of the ones we've just been talking about. Really, really top speeds. So the most important thing when you're riding a bike, one, make sure you can ride a bike. Make sure you're familiar with your bike. And make sure you've, you, you're, you wear the proper clothes. Some people even have the leather trousers to protect their legs they're not so important some even have leather boots to protect their feet wear so they're completely covered these are road racers but for a casual ride in the bike uh, the most important things is your hat and your on your your body your jacket and your gloves but this reminds me not just about riding a bike being familiar with your bike the bible talks about the helmet of salvation that's to protect our head because this protects your head when you're riding a bike but your head is so important part of your body because Everything in your, in your body, comes, most of it comes in through your head, whether it's your ears, you need to protect your ears from what you might hear. Maybe you're, you hear things that aren't good to listen to, maybe bad jokes or bad words, and they're not good because they'll eventually get to your heart. And not only does the they have to protect your ears, but your eyes, the visor, is very important because you've got a fly down the road and a bird could go past and whack in the nose, or a fly could go into your eye and all of a sudden you can't see, and in an instant you could have an accident with pass it oncoming traffic or going around the bend so you need your vision must be 100% very very clear so the visor protects you from wind and from insects and flies and dust and all things like that that reminds me in life it's so important to protect your eyes thing that you look at especially nowadays when people everyone seems to have a phone or access to to a, an ipad or computer there's so many things that are that are very good very funny very educational but there are things that are not good and you have to be so, so careful what your eyes are watching. And protect your ears, your eyes, but most important, your head, because your head is a part of the body that if you've no head, well, you, you can't live. So you must protect your head at all costs. The hands are very important. We talked about the gloves. What's the application? Well, you have to be careful what your hands are touching or where your hands want to go or what your hands want to do. The feet wear is important. 
Be, we used to sing a song, be careful little hands what you touch, be careful little feet where you walk, be careful little mind what you think, be careful little eyes what you look at, be careful little mouth what you say. So the hands are very, very important. So another thing, apart from anything, many people have got accident on motorbikes. Many of them are fatal. So it reminds me to be so, so careful. It's not all about speed. You don't need to go fast to enjoy a motorcycle ride. You can enjoy it. It's, it's called a casual ride. But um, as a little boy with my brothers, we got a little Telejet, a little small, small motorbike, and it was really good fun. But it was more than that, it was good time for us as a family to spend time together. So you've got the gear, you've got the jacket, the body. This protects the body, protects your arms, your shoulders, every aspect of your upper body. That's very, very important. So you've got one body, boys and girls, one life, and it's so important to make it to. You've only got one life, and there's a wee verse in the Bible that makes me ask the question: What is your life? It is even a vapour that appears for a little time then vanishes away. Some people go out and they're very, very careless on their motorbike and they go recklessly and they drive like a madman and they have an accident and their life's cut short. That's why you've only one life. Don't squander your life. Don't waste your life. But I would urge you to give your life to God and live your life pleasing to God. That's why I love creation and love fields and mountains and rivers. And I appreciate bikes. Good exercise. Get you out in the fresh air. I was talking, this is not my bike. It's a friend's bike. That's my friend who was riding the bike. And he was saying, you have to be very, very fit to ride a, ride a motorbike because it uses up a lot of energy. Because it's really hard on your arms. You have to be tense all the time. You have to be very, very fit. If you want, you get cramps and you get pains all over. Most sportsmen, sports people are very, very fit. They have to be. So as a Christian, it's important to be fit. I'm not talking about physically fit, but spiritually healthy, spiritually fit. And just like a motorbike man, if he's going to be a good motorcyclist, he's going to have to use it very, very often to get used to it, to practice it. And being a Christian, it takes practice. Reading the Bible, praying to God, fellowshipping, talking about God. So even the lesson on the motorbike. And we've talked about famous motorbike people from Northern Ireland who are some still alive. Some have come, some have gone, and some have lost their lives through racing in a motorcycle because of speed, because of serious accident or whatever. So when I think to sum up about a motorbike, it's a very fast machine, very dangerous machine. It's very, very um, uh, important that we know exactly how a motor motorcycle operates and you have to be very, very careful. So whatever you think about riding a motorcycle, we would encourage you to do your test, get your test, learn how the motorbike operates and remember it's a very, very popular machine, a very dangerous machine, but also a very enjoyable machine. And many people are put off a motorbike for whatever reason. It's the same with the Christian life. Some people are put off being a Christian because they look at other people as a Christian. Some of them have got big long faces and they don't look very happy. But the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. And God gives you wonderful joy and that gives you strength. Just like a motorbike man needs to have so much strength, mental strength, physical strength, to be able to ride it for hours and hours at a time. Likewise, the Lord gives you strength to give you joy so that you can enjoy the Christian life here in this world. So that's our lesson about the motorbike and about the popular men in Northern Ireland like Joy Dunlop, so many is Robert Dunlop and so many other names that have come and gone in the racing scene. So another one for Northern Ireland, uh, 100, and of course the motorbike race, the Northwest 200, uh, of course around the Antrim coast, up around Port Stewart, Port Rice, the Ulster Grand Prix in Rundon Draw, just outside Lisburn, that's where I lived, and of course we were in Sainfield, uh, just outside Lisburn looking at the motorbike, but of course there's races all over the country um, for motorbikes and the lesson of course makes you've got the right protective gear as you ride your motorbike if you ride a motorbike we're going to sing a really good song we think about nice weather think about the coast let's sing never let go of me I'm 
song, Never Let Go Of Me. Thank you so much to all those great motorbike riders, present and past, wonderful, wonderful um, uh, ambassadors for Northern Ireland on the motorsport motorbike industry. See you boys and girls, have a great day.